Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here on the Sam channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Well, uh, the big story is that uh, Adalia, the hurricane, making landfall uh, here just uh, a few minutes ago. And uh, it is a pretty big hurricane, as expected. Category three, but actually it was a four last hour. It went to a category four, but it has come back down to a category three. So the winds are still, though, over 110 miles per hour sustain, gust of 120, 125. Uh, it's still a very powerful storm. And as you can kind of see over my shoulder here, uh, I've got all the, the different weather sources up and as usual, the uh, weather reporters are out there in it, and they're, you know, swaying with the wind, and some of them will be, you know, in the water and all this, kind of, you know, the usual stuff. But it's it's a pretty big hurricane, kind of unprecedented in that it's uh, hitting that Big Bend area of Florida, which has been a, a very, very long time before uh, or since they've had uh, that kind of impact there in that particular area. Uh, more on the hurricane in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at what's going on on this Wednesday morning from our perspective. And we're seeing some uh, dense fog this morning over in the eastern part of our viewing area. Uh, once you go out the Cumberland Parkway and down toward the Cumberland Plateau, that's where you're find, finding a lot of dense fog. Uh, down toward Dale Hollow Lake, and Lake Cumberland, Green River Lake area, all under a dense fog advisory this morning. But you can also see some uh, streaming high clouds here with the, this. some of this is the outer uh, cloud bands from Adelia. In fact, I can move, move the radar and the satellite down and you can see all the watches and the warnings. There's been a couple of tornado warnings that have been out. This is Adalia. As uh, you can see, the eye wall is right there over uh, that. This is what they call the Big Bend area of Florida, the West Coast. I can turn on the radar and it's pretty impressive too. Um, from say out of Tallahassee. Uh, yeah. Okay. I know there's a uh, hurricane warning there. Let me get the <laughs> the radar doesn't want to come up. I want to hit that radar. Uh, there it comes. Ooh, look at that. Now that is mighty impressive. Uh, and it's right around uh, the eye wall just made uh, landfall right south of Perry, Florida. Uh, this contains, of course, a lot of wind, a lot of rain. You can see a couple of lightning strikes in there, uh, but it's making landfall at this moment as a Category 3 hurricane. So it makes it a major hurricane. Uh, to find your bearings here, there's Gainesville, Florida. There's Jacksonville. There's Lake City. Um, then you get into Valdosta, Georgia. Um, there's already been, in fact, there's a tornado warning there, Brunswick. Georgia. So this is now going to take a path and start to move a little further north and east and then be downgraded uh, to a you know, category two, category one, and then it's going to go into uh, subtropical or actually extra tropical uh, as it moves off and then back into the Atlantic. But pretty impressive first major hurricane of this uh, Atlantic season. So there you get a bird's eye view of it with the eye wall, very prominent there, just a little South of Perry, Florida. And, uh, it's, it's going to be a rough go there. And we're, we're hoping that everybody has paid attention to the warnings and, uh, paid attention to, you know, the path, potential path and all of that. In fact, here's that from the national hurricane center. And I show you this because, uh, you know, I know that there are a lot of you that have friends and family down that way. Uh, it's not going to affect us here in Kentucky, but it is going to 
uh, affect parts of southern Georgia, uh, South Carolina, maybe a little sliver of the outer banks of North Carolina, and then it's just going to be a tropical storm as it heads back into the Atlantic over the next few days through the Labor Day weekend, and maybe even affecting Bermuda, which is right here, uh, as you know, a tropical storm. So it's got a lot of characteristics to it, uh, you know, high tides and surf and uh, damaging wind potential, tornado potential, heavy rain potential, 10 to 20 inches of rain. In some cases, um, that's going to be the case. So yeah, that's going to be uh, something to continue to watch throughout the holiday weekend. All right, let's come back here to home. And uh, we're starting out this morning with some very pleasant temperatures, upper 50s to low 60s. But it is east of Bowling Green where we find uh, some of the fog, very dense fog this morning as you head east of 65. So be careful with that uh, this morning. Uh, Let's see here. I want to try looking at some of the cameras. Uh, Here's Warren County. Uh, out at the Ag Expo farm. Everything's looking good there, but let's go further south. I'm curious what it looks like down in Teville. I think there's one there we can look at if I can get it to. Yeah, it's hazy. This is uh, seven miles southwest of Tompkinsville in Monroe County where it's 56 degrees, and you can see uh, some of the hazy to the sky and even a few now those clouds are actually some of the high very high cirrus clouds outer bands of adelia that's all we're going to get out of it is maybe some of those high clouds uh, to the east of us this morning so uh take that into consideration when you're looking up at the sky and you're seeing that today uh let's see um this is Albany, Clinton County. It's not bad, but you can see some of those high clouds again. Look at that. Yeah. Even this far away, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of miles away. And some of those outer cloud bands even affecting us, you know, right now. So there you go. But watch out for the dense fog in a lot of places out to the east of us uh, this Wednesday morning. All right, let's take a look at the model blender. And uh, good news is we're going to get a few more cool-ish days before we start to warm up again. But as I've mentioned the last couple of days, when you look at this, uh, yeah, okay, so low 80s today, around 80 tomorrow, maybe even upper 70s for some of you. I mean, that golly, that's beautiful. Look at those lows in the 50s. It's not until we get into the actual holiday weekend, starting Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we start to gradually warm up mid 80s. I'm not pushing too high into the upper 80s. We may touch 90 on occasion, maybe even Labor Day on Monday. We may hit 90. But you can see even from yesterday, some of those mid or closer to mid 90 temperatures have come down into the low 90s, and I think some of that is still overdone. It's going to warm up, yes, but I don't think it's going to be oppressively hot and humid. The humid part, I know, is not going to be that that bad. It may get warm, it may get toasty, but I don't think it's going to get very oppressive. So there's your good news. Uh, The weather is going to stay absolutely fantastic from now all the way through the Labor Day weekend. Uh, You know, make those outdoor plans. Go have the cookout. Go to the lake. Do whatever you're going to do outdoors. Celebrate the unofficial end of summer this weekend. And just enjoy because the weather is not, I repeat, not going to be a problem here in southern Kentucky. But, of course, our thoughts and prayers with the folks in Florida and all that they're going through, uh, it's it's going to be a, a rough go there for a while. Here's a look at the model map. And you can see very well defined there, uh, Idalia, 
and uh, we can watch it over the course of the next two days or so, uh, continue to make its path through uh, the northern half of Florida, the Panhandle, a little east of the Panhandle, then going into southern Georgia, through Savannah, Augusta. Um, then the heavy rains move into the Carolinas, and then this thing is going to go back into the Atlantic as a tropical storm. But notice over our area, nothing, nothing. High pressure is going to continue to be the nominating factor here for a while. And that's why I say we've got no weather worries here at all. So, um, yeah, just keep those outdoor plans and celebrate. It's going to be a good one. All right, here's a look at the um, surface map over the next several days. There you see depicted in the yellow the fog that is going on this morning from east of 65 into the eastern and central parts of Kentucky. Uh, Again, that front is falling apart that's coming through right now. It's it's not going to do anything. It's just going to fall apart, move away. You can see all the heavy rains with the dahlia, and it's primarily going to be east of the Smokies. Uh, once you get on the other side of the mountains, that's where the rains are going to be for the remainder of the Labor Day weekend. Here we go into Thursday morning. Um, yeah, still maybe some patchy fog in a couple of places, but that's it. Thursday afternoon, here comes Friday morning, high pressure still here. Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, there's just nothing. Now, there is some rain trying to get going with the next system out in the plains, but it may take, oh gosh, maybe a week from today or after before we begin to see any of that here uh, in southern Kentucky. So there you go. All right, that'll do it for this Wednesday edition of the Sam Channel podcast. I'm on the air right now. Uh, at Sam 100.7 until 10 a.m. And then, of course, I'll be on your TV tonight at 5, 6, and 10 at News 40. In the meantime, God bless you. Thank you for watching and have a great Wednesday.